Okay, this is part two of this video tutorial series on how to model a plane in Plane Maker. I just finished exporting all these three views of this plane, and we're going to start using Plane Maker now to create the 3D version of the plane. You start out with a simple tube. This is a starting point for the body. And the first thing we need to do is actually let's do some housekeeping first here. Let's save it as uh, ERJ140. ACF. And now that we have it saved, it always gives you a warning because it's very incomplete. It won't work properly in, in X-Plane yet. So, okay, uh, we have uh, the starting point for Plane Maker here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up one of those background images, the side one. And here we have the length of the plane in feet and inches. So what I want to do with this length here is I want half the body to go forward and half the body to go backwards. Now when we open up the Plane Maker's Fuselage uh, tool, you'll see here there's a whole bunch of half circles. And actually what it is is they're cross sections of the fuselage cut in half. So this gets mirrored on the other side. Now in order to accomplish a length of 93 feet and 4 inches, uh, 93 divided by 2 is 46 and a half, 46.5, so it's going to be like 46.7, 46.8 either way. And here I have to go minus because minus represents forward. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 point. I'll do something like that. And now if I'm going to be fine with only having 10 stations, which if I can, I'll probably add a couple anyway. So let's have 13 here. Let's go to the last one here and say it should go 40. 6.2 the other way. Now let's see what this looks like. We got something there, it's just not visible yet because I haven't, there's there's points here if I go like this, now it will be visible and we've got the length of the entire plane represented with this line here. You see the tip lines up with the tip and the tail lines up with the tail. And we're, we happen to be zoomed correctly but sometimes in Plane Maker, you're not zoomed correctly when you're in this view. So you can zoom with the plus and minus key and just be sure that you're in side view to, to model this plane. Now this is still a mess here. We're going to have to distribute the entire thing along the length of the fuselage and do other adjustments which I'll walk you through. So the next thing I want to do is increase the body radius because I know that it's too narrow. But first of all, let's check with the brochure. 7 feet 6 inches is the fuselage diameter. So the radius will be 3.75 feet at its widest point, but I'm going to give myself a little bit more playroom. I'll make it 5 feet so that we can accommodate for any other adjustments. Also, one important thing to note, the front and end stations here, you can actually, with one single click, you can merge all nine stations into one point. So, and then you can copy the station back into here if you want to undo that. So you can uh, merge all nine stations and then this one point becomes a control point that you can move around and put wherever you need to. Okay, so let's go to Photoshop and uh, here we have the the three view. We only need the top and side view for the detailed fuselage and I can go ahead and crop it right away. But before that, what I want to do is actually draw a series of lines that will represent the subdivisions of the body uh, where we need to have the... we have 13 subdivisions in Plane Maker and I'm going to roughly draw 13 lines here on the major bending points of the fuselage. So this is the fourth one here and fifth one here from the top view I guess. Sixth one here and this is the seventh one here. There's no more bends until we get to this part here. And then eighth one here, ninth one there, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, so now I have my 13 subdivisions, and I want to export this. I can see here with the percentages of uh, all the way. Actually, this lines up almost uh, not perfectly. Let's see what happens if we go to millimeters. We have a complete body length of 96.93.4 feet. So roughly, this is 91, 2, 3, it's 94 centimeters long. So we could pretty roughly 
assume that these these lines here are where we want to put the the stations but we do need to do some slight conversion because we have the middle point here as our reference point in plane maker all right so let me go ahead and crop this okay so crop it by going all right i'll just estimate here okay i, I use these uh engines as a reference to make sure that i'm cutting away exactly the same amount from both top and bottom and i go to crop all right so let's do the side view first side views top view top views and we'll import these images top views and side views all right here we go now let's go back to photoshop and take a look at these these subdivisions we had here okay so if you would imagine that this point here is the point at which we have 46.3 feet then the next adjustment we make is at around 40 uh, so we have one two so it's about two behind that one 44.3 the next one is at one, two, three, four, five. So five units, 46.3 minus five is 41.3. The second to last ring is at 40. So the last ring should be at about 40.5, just to close off the fuselage, or 40.3 even. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so that I automatically adjusted the zoom level so I have to zoom back out but I know that this is the correct uh, setting now because the last ring matched this exact same point so I have to do a bit of uh, careful zooming in this whole process and now I can go in and adjust all these rings according to uh, let's start with this one here which will determine the entire radius of the fuselage so we can start with the top and side view just get these guys out to where they're supposed to be here and here and here and plane maker's got some pretty cool tools that uh, say can save you a lot of time with with doing this oh, I'll have to pull this ring a little bit further forward so now that we have the top and side view lined up with the, the radius of the fuselage. Notice how I'm dragging this back and forth. I can reset all sections to vertical to make them completely straight again. So now I'm back here and look at this mess here. But I can make ellipses out of these really easily. So there we go, that's my ellipse. And that uh, created an evenly distributed round shape for, these, for the fuselage. Let me just pull this one forward a little bit. See how that looks. Yeah. And then the rest is just tweaking the entire plane al along the lines of what I just did with the uh, just top and bottom view. So drag the points along here until they all match the outline of your plane. There is a little bit of full top plane visible from the, from the background image so we'll go back in here and we can actually trim how high the uh, fuselage will sit on the rest of the plane. So that pretty much took care of that. We have a 3D view of it now. Now we can compare what it looks like from the top view. And so we have the top view here. And let's see what it looks like from the front. Switch the images to front. See, this is why it's really important to have all the uh, background images line up along the same viewpoint. This dot here represents the chosen viewpoint. It's an arbitrary point, but I've made planes where the viewpoint was the tip of the nose, the reference point, and that causes a lot of trouble when you're trying to um, move move body parts around and uh, line them up with the background image. So this is what I found to be the easiest way to do it. All right, the next tutorial will be focusing on the wings. See you then.